what's up? Maddie P here. I am on the North Island of New Zealand in a little town called Raglan. Incredible surf spot. And last night I was in the water and there was a guy there free diving while everyone else was surfing. So I ran into him after in the parking lot and turns out he was getting kina, which is a type of sea urchin that is endemic to New Zealand. It's a super delicacy. It's been eaten for hundreds and hundreds of years by the locals here. And it's supposed to be really tasty and taste kind of unique. This one you found just right in the surf spot. Yeah, man, I just found them right in the surf spot. What are you looking for when you're trying to find them? Like, do they hide in a certain place? Or? Oh, they just kind of hang out on the like on the rocks. Like under the rocks, yeah. like in, 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 tight, in the tight spaces, you know? Do you need Anywhere gloves or they... anything? Or are they going to stab you in the hand? Oh yeah, it's best, to, it's best to wear gloves. When you're going to grab them, and you're like trying to fight them, get your hand in between the rocks and that, and you you know, and you're, and you're trying to like get them off the rock and out of the, like between the rocks, you know, because they're stuck. It pays to wear gloves because if you don't wear gloves, well then you end up with um, like splinters, yeah. like under your nails, and in your, and you know, and bleeding fingers. So you yeah. just wait for low tide. I mean, you can get them at any time. Yeah. You can get them at low tide. You can get them at high tide. It's easier at low tide. And how many are you allowed a day? There's an abundance of kinners, yeah. like in the ocean. So like, really, the way I look at it, you you can take as many as you want, just as long as you're not greedy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so you got to think of, you know, your kids, your grandchildren, <laughs> and you know, so on, so on. So it's good just to take enough for a feed and enough for a kai for, for yourself and maybe a couple of friends and a bit of whanau, you know what I'm saying? Is this like a typical size? One yeah, like these ones, they, no, they come in all different sizes. These are ones are actually quite little. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got a, we got a yeah. good solid bag full. How yeah. long were you out looking for? Uh, these, um, I was actually out paddling in the waves um, <laughs> kind of just, you know, a bit of core training and then, um, you know, just kind of hanging out with the surfers and then waiting for the tide to to, to swoop on out a little bit more. And then, yeah, ended up, um, yeah, that was the outcome right there. Yeah. Bit of a feed there anyway. Really good for you, eh? Clean out the old system. So can you show me how to open one? Yeah. Like this is um, usually like you know, you use like a anything you can use to open them. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I mean, if, if you want to use a rock, you know, <laughs> that's that's how to open them. You know what I mean? Just it's not really much to it. And then you open them up, and there goes all the good right there. Now it looks pretty messy. What's the best part you're supposed to eat? All that stuff there, you know. All that there, you know. Nice. Really sweet too. And does it compare to anything? Like, people always say, oh, it tastes like chicken, or tastes like this, or like that. Nah, this kinna is very unique. It tastes very much like kinna. <laughs> yeah, but it's really good for you, it cleans you out. You know, they're actually, these ones are pretty small, eh? But, it's enough for a bit of a, bit of a taste, eh? Um, when you're cruising and you want to budget on your money, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And, cra and traveling around, well, that's what you can do, is you can go out and you can go and get kinners and you get your power and muscles yeah. and anything to keep you going. And this is like the, like I'm not the a, classic I'm not a, way, the onion bag, perfect, because it lets yeah. the water out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's, that's just a cheap way. You can go to the dive shop and get a, get yourself the real deal bag. The catchment bag, yeah. you're paying like a hundred bucks. But then it costs you, yeah. you a bit of money. And that so works just as well, You right? just go and get a $10 bag of onions, share them with you know, yeah. your neighbors, Get plenty or, of onions or, 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 you, or whoever you want to share them with. Yeah. And then sweet ass, take the bag and go hunting. Okay. Look, look at that, There's this, look at his teeth. That's the teeth? Well, oh, that's the inside. Yeah. Whoa. That's so crazy. Do you eat that as well? Nah, nah. That's the, that's the whole um, enjoyment of, of diving and free diving is going out and just providing the feed for yourself yeah. like it's more rewarding yeah totally. anyone can go to a fish and chip shop or a seafood bazaar and buy takeout yeah. but when you go get it yourself at least you earned your feed you know yeah so 
a little more connected, right? Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. up, man. Right on. And getting out outdoors as well, eh? So I'm on the beach right now here in Whale Bay. The tide is going out. I'm going to attempt to do this without even putting on a wetsuit and diving and just kind of wading in and seeing how it goes. Because coming in from the surf last night, I actually even felt them under my feet if I stepped in a weird place in the rock and I could, I could touch that little strange sea urchin on my foot. So hopefully this is gonna be easy. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna go gear up, but pretty basic. You just need a bag to put them in. You need some low tide and just pluck them off the rock. Now I wish I had some gloves, I don't. So I'm gonna use my Pawa plastic knife and I've got a little bag to put them in and hopefully that is gonna be good enough to get myself a little uh, feed tonight of some delicious kina. There's no waves today, no one's surfing, the beach is totally empty and it's getting dark. So let's get in there and see how it goes. There's over 70 kinds of sea urchin in New Zealand, but the kina is by far the most common. So I'm hoping this is gonna be pretty easy to find at least a few of them. You can see all the red seaweed covering the rocks here, and that is kina's favorite food. Now, sometimes there's so many kina that they'll actually eat all of the seaweed right off the rocks until it's dry, and they call that a kina baron. Now because they're so common here in New Zealand, the limits are quite high. Most places, I think it's around 30 kina a day. Some places are a little more, a little bit less, but there's, there's no shortage of these little guys. Okay, that was pretty easy. That was maybe, I don't know, three minutes or something. And check it out. My first uh, kina. And these ones are actually not too painful. I've stepped on these in Puerto Rico before and had like black spines in, impaled into my foot. So these are actually pretty mellow. But it does kind of look like a little baby rolled up hedgehog. Kind of cute. <laughs> okay. So at least there's one. Let's see what else I can get. Now there's no size limit on these kina either, but obviously you want to go for the biggest ones that you can. They don't have a lot of meat on them, even for the big ones. And much like when you're diving for pawa, you're not allowed to use scuba gear. So when you're hunting for kina, it's free diving only, or in my case, because I'm kind of lazy and don't want to get wet today, I'm just going to uh, wade in. And it's kind of crazy to think that these kina can actually live up to around 20 years. It is a little bit creepy wading through this seaweed. The water is kind of dark today. You can't really see what you're doing. So just reaching under these rock crevices Sometimes you'll touch something slimy and it's, you just go, oh God, what was that? But uh, luckily in New Zealand, there's not a lot of poisonous stuff to worry about. So yeah, no worries. Running out of light again, I managed to score four good ones. Pretty big, actually. I think they're pretty huge uh, as far as sea urchins go. I didn't get hurt by the spines at all, but I just brushed my knuckles against barnacles and that kind of thing. Uh, you can see some tiny little scrapes on my fingers, but nothing, nothing bad, really. So let's have a little snack. These are my kina. Not too bad for a first effort. Pretty sweet. I'm gonna try to crack open a mid-sized one here. Hey! Whoa. 
And I know it's all about delicacy, but like that doesn't look very appetizing. Oh man. Okay, well I guess I gotta try it. There's some kina. Not bad. It's almost got like a, a sweet flavor to it. It is actually pretty tasty. Mm. Not for everyone, but really unique taste. So now I can check kina hunting off my list of outdoorsy type skills. Now I know they don't look like much, they don't have eyeballs or a face or they're not crawling around so to speak, but you are reminded of how alive they are. I mean even after I smash the thing open there's bits of busted kina moving around on the spines. It's kind of crazy to look at. I was reminded today of another thing which is always good to remember that things are usually a lot easier than your mind makes them out to be. I've never done this before but after getting a little bit of advice and just getting out there and trying it, I was able to succeed so yeah that felt pretty good too. Another thing I was reminded of today was just how approachable people are if you actually have a genuine interest in what they're doing. So great day, stoked to find some kina. On to the next mission.